Hi, everyone. Welcome to Introduction to Mango Languages, and thank you, Kelly, for that wonderful build-up. So my name is Molly Puler, and I work in the LRS department here at the library. That's Learning and Research Services. And I have to second what Kelly said. I am so excited to give this workshop today. I love Mango Languages for so many reasons. One is I think it has so many benefits whether you're traveling for work or school or leisure and you need some conversational skills, Mango has something to offer you. And I also think that it's very easy to use. You don't need to be a language expert to use Mango languages successfully. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have questions, as Kelly said, you can type them into the box and I might be able to stop or Kelly might be able to answer them while I'm moving along. But if not, I'll save plenty of time at the end to answer questions. So I'm going to assume that those of you that are in the room know a little bit about Mango Languages. But just in case, actually before I do move for forward, you guys can hear me OK, correct? I always like to check. Someone, oh, perfect. Thank you, Jenny. So about Mango Languages. Mango provides interactive learning for over 60 languages, including English. They also provide other resources, such as films, that you can watch to help with your language comprehension as well. So let's go ahead and get started. There are several ways that you can access Mango languages. You do want to start from our home page, though. And the easiest way, really, is just to navigate to our alphabetical listing of databases. So I'm on our home page right now, which hopefully you can see. And under Find Information, you'll see all article databases. So if we click here, once again, several ways that our databases are organized. Uh, if you were to click on Languages and Linguistics, for example, you would see Mango listed there. But really, the easiest way to access Mango is right here under M. And then from here, we'll see Mango languages listed alphabetically. So I'm going to go ahead and click to enter, and we'll be directed. So upon clicking on Mango, this is the screen that you'll be directed to. There's a few different things here that I want to point out. Uh, the first one is you do have guest access option. So if you just want to play around with Mango before you set up an account, you always have that as an option. I do highly recommend creating your own account, though, especially if you plan on continually using Mango. By having an account, it keeps track of your activity. So if you start coursework and you log out and you log back in, Mango Languages is going to keep track of that if you have an account. It's very easy to set up. I know sometimes we set up accounts, and I swear it wants your last address and your social security number. This is a very simple account to set up. It only takes a couple moments. You also have preferred language display. There are only two options, English and Spanish. But if you would like to switch to Spanish, you can. But it defaults to English. Just to show you what it looks like, and I'll actually wait a minute if anyone does want to create an account right now. You'll see that by creating an account, it only requires your name, email address, and password. So I'll hang here. If you want to set up an account, you can just do that in a couple minutes, or you can do it after the class. While I'm waiting, how is everyone? I didn't even ask at the beginning. Or if anyone has any upcoming international travel that they'd like to share, rather for school, for work, for fun, feel free to type it in the box. It's a quiet group today. Well, I'll tell you, I wish that I was traveling to Munich. That's where, I, if I could go anywhere right now, that's where I would travel to. OK, thank you for sharing, Jenny. Italy, France, Spain, that sounds wonderful. Oh, Trinidad, wonderful, Lori. <laughs> 
I will see you later, Daniel. Okay, well, it looks like uh, I gave you guys a few minutes to set up. And once again, if you didn't want to, you can always use guest access. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my account. And since I have been active, active with my account, it's actually going to take me to my dashboard. But as a new user, it will likely bring you to the Languages homepage, which I actually like to start from here anyway. So it's very easy to see what's available. You'll see all of your different tabs right here. The top languages are listed, including Pirate. Pirate is available via Mango Languages. And then you'll also see all languages. And as I mentioned earlier, there's also ESL options for learning English. So if English is not your primary language, if maybe you're an international student, there are some great options for learning English also. There's a tab for specialty courses. These are also going to be language courses, but they're more specific. So instead of a German conversational course, this might be conversation for a specific event, like October Oktoberfest. And we'll get into movies a little bit later, but there is a tab for movies as well. OK, so top languages, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to all languages. And you'll see everything that's available. So I mentioned over 60. You can see those listed here. Irish, Cherokee, Romanian, Spanish, Latin, pirates in here, uh, so many options. So I can see that you're probably already starting to get excited about the learning options. What I'd like to do is pick one of these languages and kind of walk you through the process. It's very interactive, and once you see how it works, I think you'll see how easy it is to use. So continuing with my theme, I'm going to pick German because I really do wish I could go to Germany right now. And you'll see a few different options here. So it depends on the language. Some of them will have more or less. But you'll almost always see a conversation course. That's going to teach you basic conversation skills. You might see one of those specialty courses like Oktoberfest. And then I mentioned those movies. A lot of the languages also have movies that you can and you'll see that little movie film icon letting you know that that's what that is. Uh, I see Marie is asking how to sign into Mango. Uh, you can actually pick Get Access if you like. Okay, so I'm going to start off by looking at Mango Conversations. And it will go ahead and load your adventure in a new screen. And it depends, once again, on the language, but you'll see it broken down into different units. And then those units are broken down into chapters. As I mentioned, if you have previous process and you have an account within Mango, it actually keeps track of your progress. So if I wanted to resume from my last place, I could. There's also optional. I want to emphasize optional. You do not have to take these, but there's a take a placement test option. And then once you've completed the coursework, there's also a course assessment. So maybe you do speak some German. Maybe you speak some uh, Turkish, and you're not sure which unit to start with. If you wanted to take this placement test, you could. You'll see that it gives you the time, 5 to 25, for the placement test. And the assessment is 45 to 60 minutes. If it takes you five minutes to take the pretest, then you probably can start with Unit 2. That's probably what it will suggest for you. Uh, but if you take a little bit longer and you answer the questions incorrectly, it will likely suggest that you start with Unit 1. But once again, that is optional. Uh, we won't walk through that today, but basically it's asking you to translate phrases into English and then, depending on your language, uh, create phrases in that language from English, if that makes sense. And you'll be listening to audio recordings. So let's go back, and we'll just go ahead and look at Unit 1. So you'll see that you can jump around if you like. You can start at Chapter 1, and it gives you a brief description, greetings, gratitude, goodbye. Another thing that I do really like about Mango, though, is that you can jump around. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I procrastinate. 
and maybe I'm going on a trip and I've known for a year, over a year, but somehow I don't start learning my conversational language until a couple weeks before. If I know that I really need to learn about in case of emergency, I can jump there. If I really want to know how to do greetings, I can start here. So you can jump around as it fits you, or you can just start from the beginning. Everyone still with me? Any questions for now? All right. Thank you, Lori. So let's go ahead and get started with Chapter 1. We'll just walk through a little bit of this just to show you how it works. How do you say the day? Probably. This chapter will teach you to have delightful conversations like this. Guten Tag. Schönes Wetter heute, nicht wahr? Ja, sehr schön. Und ich bin hier im Urlaub. Ach wirklich? Na dann einen schönen Urlaub noch. Danke. Auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen. Don't worry if the conversation seemed difficult. We'll lead you through it part by part. So you'll see it's very interactive, and if you ever want to skip through anything, because you can see that I quickly skipped back to the beginning, you can. You can jump around. If you have already taken a unit and you want to start over but skip this part, you can. If you'd like to hear it again, you can always refresh it. But it does tell you the learning, learning goals at the beginning of the session. So let's go ahead and move through and see what it looks like next. Guten Tag is understood to mean hello but can be used in a formal setting to literally say, good day. Another useful thing about Mango Languages is it's not only teaching you the language, but for many of the courses it also gives you cultural and contextual information as well, when to use formal or informal, and you can often switch back and forth to get a better understanding of the language. So from here, they taught us a single word. You can always refresh to hear again or to just listen to the word, you could press the green icon. Guten Tag. And one of my favorite features, I, I feel like I keep saying one of my favorite, obviously I have a lot of favorite features of Mango, is you can actually record your voice and compare it to how the word is supposed to sound. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate, demonstrate that. And I will need to ask for this. It's going to ask me if I can use this, and I'll say yes. And then we'll record. Guten Tag. So you do need to drag this and adjust, and you can kind of match it up and see where it's supposed to go. And I can listen to both. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. And you can see my pronunciation's off a little bit. If I wanted to listen together to get a better idea of what I need to work on, I can do that. Guten Tag. So you can kind of get an idea of the variations. I really love the voice compare feature. There's something that I just remembered that I wanted to show you. I'm obviously using a external microphone right now. And I do want to point something out to you. I hate when I'm starting to use a resource for the first time and I run into technical problems. So if you are using any type of external microphone or a headset with a microphone, your computer probably will automatically register it, but just in case, you may need to adjust your settings. So let me just pause and show you that quickly. From this page, anywhere on this page, you can right-click, Settings, go over to Microphone, and you see that it's using the Snowball. So in case you ever run into a situation where it's not automatically um, registering your microphone or headset, you just right click and go to settings. Okay, so back to voice comparison, love the feature, and then you can go ahead and move forward if you like. Listen and repeat the following, der Tag, which means the day. How do you say the day? And it gives you a timed opportunity to just say the word out loud on your own. And you can, of course, view the answer if you need to. All right. Let's learn how to say good. Listen closely and repeat. Gut. Try to say... Isn't this... Okay. Try... Did you notice that... Gut. Becomes... Guten. 
in the phrase Guten Tag. As you learn more German, you will acquire a sensitivity for when and how to make these changes. For now, all you need to do is notice this change. So just another example of that other layer of learning that Mango has. It's not just teaching you the language, but also the context. So now that we've looked at German a little bit, I'm going to close out of here and just kind of run through another one quickly, just so you can kind of get a feel for how it works. So going back to languages, these all look similar. So if you wanted to look at pirate, you would see that it looks very similar. Pirate's not going to have the placement test, but it all opens up in a similar way. So if you wanted to jump around, you could. OK, so going back to our home page, we've now looked at the all languages option to see what's available there. And I did mention that learning English is also an option, another wonderful feature. You'll see all of the languages that are available for learning English. So Polish, Portuguese, Greek, a lot of different options. We can look at one of these as well briefly just to show you how similar it works. Similarly it works. So once again, you'll see that there are films available as well as some special courses or the simple conversation. Oh, I'm glad you're excited, Lori. I see one wow exclamation point. I love the feedback in the chat box. So I speak a little bit of Spanish so I can kind of tell what this says, but of course if you were playing around with this and you didn't speak the language, it would be hard to maneuver. But you can tell that it looks very similar. It has the placement test and the uh, test for at the end of the unit as well. Once again, gives you that description if you need it, if you want to jump around. Okay, so that's the English feature. Going back to languages. Specialty courses, we'll just look at this. We won't walk through it, but as you can see, it's just some of the languages, but with more specifics, maybe a cultural event or uh, a certain instance that you might need a language, legal, that type of thing. So you can always peruse those, and they also show up in the general language categories as well. Movies. A lot of people don't even know that movies are a feature of Mango languages, and it's another pretty epic feature. So all of these are mixed together. All of the different languages are here, but they are, of course, separated out into the language categories as well. If you need more information on any of the movies, you can click here, and it will also give you a rating. These are Mango ratings because a lot of these don't have a rating based on the MPAA, so Mango gives them a rating. This one is 13 plus. If you'd like more information on the rating system, there's a little link here that you can click. And of course, it gives you the synopsis of the movie here. So I found this film the other day when I was playing around with Mango that I really liked because I think it's beautiful. So we'll go ahead and look at that one today, Wild Chronicles. So you have two options for viewing the movies. You can just watch the movie. That's what movie mode is. It means you can just start it from the beginning and watch it till the end. And you have the option of picking uh, captions as well. This is a Spanish film, so you could pick Spanish captions, or you could pick Spanish and English, or you could pick none or both. You have a lot of options. Or there is engage mode. Engage mode is kind of like the Lango conversation courses that we were in before, but using a movie. So it breaks down the scene, it breaks down the dialogue, and it mostly walks you through learning with a movie. So we'll look at engage mode first, and that, since that one is a bit more complicated. So it'll start off by giving you a scene introduction. It's going to give you a description of the scene. And if you scroll down, it lets you see words that you're going to encounter in this movie. And if you scroll over the words, it gives you the definition. If we scroll down some more, 
gives us some cultural notes for the movie that we can slide through. And I do want to point out down here at the bottom, if at, if at any point you decide that engage mode is too much, you don't like it, you can switch back to movie mode. You can just click here on this little film icon and switch back to the regular movie mode. But next up in engage mode is viewing the scene. Este es el planeta que habitamos. Junto a sus criaturas. So we'll go ahead and move forward. Next is follow up. So from here, it's basically going to break down each part of that scene. So I can click here. Y su vulnerabilidad. And it's going to break down the conversation into pieces. Now let's learn. And. And similar to before, you can replay if you need to. You can get pronunciation. Let's see if you can say and. E. And it will give you the answer if you need it. So it's really, it varies depending on your level how much assistance you need, which is another great feature of Mango. So if we scroll down through all the scenes, because there are quite a few, the next option it gives you for uh, engage is to view the scene again. I'm going to go ahead and toggle back to the movie mode, though. I know, Tammy, I love that you can watch movies via, via Mango Languages. So I paused the movie, uh, but from movie mode, I do want to point out that the captions feature is right here. So if you wanted to turn off the captions, you can. If you want to put on just Spanish, you can. Just English, both. And of course, you can adjust for full screen if you'd like to as well. All right, so that's enough of the movie feature. So really, we've now looked at the main features of Mango. Uh, we reviewed the languages, the Eng English learning, as well as the movies. So I'd like to show you a few of the other features, though, that aren't, that they don't stand out as readily, but are still useful. Perhaps you've noticed here at the top this translate feature. That is available for you to use. I will just go ahead and say this uses Google Translate. If you've ever used Google Translate, you know that it's not 100% accurate. You know that you're always going to get a better translation by talking to a fluent speaker. But if you do have a few words that you need to translate, it is here as an option. And it's convenient that you don't have to go separately to Google Translate. So let's go ahead and type something in. I love libraries. And we can pick any language. You'll see them all listed here. And you can keep changing that as you like. I would not, if there are any students in this room, I would not take a whole paragraph and put it here to translate. You're probably going to be lacking some accuracy. But it is very handy as a quick and easy tool. So moving on, that was the translate feature. Over here on this left hand bar, you'll see some options as well. I kept navigating to languages to get to what I like to call a home screen. You'll also see activity. So as I mentioned with an account, it does keep track of your activity. And if you need to download this for any reason, maybe you, you have to use Mango for an assignment, or maybe you want to give out pieces of Mango coursework as an assignment, you can actually download your, pro your progress here, and it will be formulated into an Excel sheet for you. It's very easy to do. You simply click here. There's also the support tab that's pretty straightforward. It brings you to a really handy frequently asked questions page. So if you need to navigate there, you can. If you're getting really excited about Mango languages, but you didn't see the language that you're interested in, out of the 60 plus languages, maybe you didn't see the one that you're so excited about, Mango languages actually gives you a preview of projects that they're working on. So these aren't available yet. 
but if you know that you're very interested in American Sign Language and you want some more information, you can view the info and you could actually be signed up to be notified if you like whenever it is available and you can also tell them how interested you are. So if you definitely want American Sign Language, you could give it five stars and let them know. Of course, if you don't see your language here either, you can always give them feedback. Mango is constantly asking you for feedback so that they know what you want from the resource. So as we move down here, you'll just start to see some options for accessing Mango languages in other ways. And I know we all have a lot of applications on our phone at this time, but I do want to let you know that I really like the Mango Languages application. It's free to download, and you, I'm sorry, it's free to download, and you also use the same login, so you don't need to create a separate account. What I love above all about the Mango Languages mobile application is that there's a hands free option. So what that means is if you turn on the hands-free option, you don't have to click next on anything. So that means if you're doing dishes, if you're folding laundry, obviously I have some housework to do. If you're driving, you can actually put on the hands-free and you can just listen and interact without touching anything. So it's really great, especially if you're one of those people that likes to learn languages while you're driving. So that's really everything that I have to show you with Mango Languages.